Well, good evening, friends. I wasn't going to video this, but I decided <clears throat> it may be something that some of y'all aren't used to doing, and you might want to do it. I'm going to make some shrimp kebabs, and um, I've already prepped my vegetables. I've got red bell peppers that I uh, seeded and just cut in one to two inch chunks. I have a tin um, a Vidalia onion that I've cut to where I would have pieces that would kind of hold the shrimp on. Yellow squash and zucchini squash. And then I'm using the pink Argentine shrimp that I get at Costco. I'm going to get this bag that I just laid on top of the trash to show y'all. <clears throat> These are the sweetest and best shrimp that I have found to just buy like this and not off of a shrimp truck. They don't have the tail or the shell on them. You get your full two pounds of shrimp and they are wonderful. So what I've done, and I'm going to show y'all doing one, but I put my red bell pepper and my squash and shrimp and onion and I just alternate. And I use these stainless steel skewers. I like them myself better than the uh, wooden ones. And I always spray them with Pam and that way everything just slides right off. Now, I have a, a method that I do. So I always try to put something big on first and you want to put the part that will hold it if it's curved you want it toward the inside so it'll hold your shrimp on. And I put the skewer twice through the shrimp. I curl them up and put them on there. And then I just alternate my uh, vegetables. If y'all hadn't done this, it's too easy not to do it and it's so good. And I'll show y'all how I marinate them and then I'm going to put them on my Weber grill and grill them. I did these the other day and the grandson was here. Well, two of them. Jordan wanted me to just do one with just all shrimp. He just didn't like all that other stuff. Just do him one full shrimp. They're not spoiled. But this is so good and it's... I like the vegetables. You know, when I put them on here like this, I love eating the charred vegetables too. I try to put six shrimp to the skewer, but one of them I didn't count. Let's see, that's four. I didn't count on one of them, and that one isn't going to have as many. And see how this onion is cupped in? I'm going to put it on to hold that shrimp on like that. I only have one more skewer, so I'm gonna, I may have to get another one and spray it. I think I'm going to have enough for one more after this one. Mm, let's put a green squash. I'm going to go ahead and add some extra shrimp because I won't have enough of everything else to... That's a big old piece of squash, but I'm sure it'll cook. And see, this is something that Troy can have. Y'all, if I look like I've been outside in the wind, I have. I had to go out there and try to do something to protect my... Uh, sugar baby pumpkins I've got. The vines look gorgeous and I didn't want those silly chickens rooting them up. So I had bought, I'm trip on this throw rug, I had bought me a um, some of those little looks like little wire fences at uh, the Dollar Tree and so I just line them up against each other and put them around them and I hope it keeps the chickens out. I can't do this and be out there babysitting them too. Normally I sit out there with a water hose and squirt them. But I'm doing shrimp right now, so we had breakfast this morning and we haven't eaten today. And it's late evening here. So I'll get us some supper going and hope to goodness those chickens are behaving out there. I love the red bell pepper. Y'all like red bell pepper? I like green bell pepper too. I can just eat it for a snack. But that sweet red bell pepper just, man, I love it. Put another onion on there. Put some more bell pepper. Try to use it all. Mm, I think I'm going to have enough to do one more little one. So, Let's see if I can scrunch one of these pieces of onion on there. You know this sweet onion's gonna get sweeter. 
Let me get one more skewer. And yeah, this won't, won't be quite as full, but it'll be quite as good because it's going to have shrimp and vegetables on it. I like them. This will be good if one of us just wants one in a piece. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and line these shrimp up on here and put that bell pepper on there to hold it in place. Because I don't want them falling off. Okay, I've noticed that my um, pan has a lot of water from me throwing the shrimp in some cold water. So I'm going to lift them up and dry that off real good, and then I'll show you what I do for a marinade. I'll be back just a jiffy. Okay, I'm going to give y'all a close-up. See, I've just got in there, not in the same order. So if you're OCD, you'll have to put one, two, three, four, five. But I just poke stuff on there as I see fit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to marinate these or just squeeze some wishbone Italian dressing over them. I love to use this on chicken. I use it on a lot of stuff. So I'm going to get that going. And um, I'll show you that in a minute. Let me get this back up on the tripod. What I'm going to do is just shake this up real good. I didn't do that. I forgot. I'm really enjoying my grills. Kroger has um, pork spare ribs on sale, $1.77 a pound through Tuesday. So I went today, got several racks of ribs, and I've got them thawing. And I'm going to put them on the pellet smoker. And I hope that I um, don't forget to film that for you. Sometimes I get so busy I don't think about it. Okay, I just drizzle this over my kebabs, and then I'm going to turn it to the other side to be sure both sides get this on them. And Kroger had this on sale too, so I stocked up. Flip them if you can. They want to roll sometimes, but if you work with it, you can get them flipped. Now what I did the other day, I took some um, meat church bread, their uh, fajita seasoning. You can order this. It's meatchurchshop.com. They're out of Waxahachie, Texas, and I told y'all I watch him on YouTube, and it's Meat Church, and um, he has a lot of good ideas. So anyway, I, this is what I did on the shrimp the other day when I did it when the boys were here and they were good. So I'm just going to come down here and sprinkle it with this. You could put garlic and onion powder, whatever. You know, I might actually put a little garlic powder on it. I think I will now that i thought about it. Now when you get these at, we have a Mexican place called Papacitas. And they have a, they call it the mixed grill, and it's a shish kebab. And when I first started getting it many years ago, I don't get it anymore. It was six dollars and ninety-five cents. Now it is twenty-nine ninety-five, and it has the red and green bell pepper and onion, two pieces of pineapple, and two bacon wrapped shrimp, and some chicken and some beef. Let me tell you, I wouldn't pay that price for it. I told the kids, I said, you, versus the price of eating out a, a bag of this shrimp, and I didn't use uh, a third of a bag, is $19 for two full pounds. And I said, your squash doesn't cost much of anything, nor your onion. And I said, there's enough here to feed about four people. So go figure. That would be uh, four to three is $120 if we ate it there versus here. And when I don't want to make uh, Spanish rice, I use the Spanish Rosseroni, and it's just as good, a whole lot easier. And they had it on sale for 89 cents a box last week, so that ain't bad. And pinto beans, they're not very expensive, but I don't have any of them today. I do have some can that I can open, but <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. 
I'm just going to garlic these up a little bit. And I did find out that if you sprinkle from up high, you get a better coverage. I'm not so concentrated in one area. I learned that from this guy. I think I will put some fresh cracked black pepper, but I have to go rescue it from the table. Just a minute. And I always get asked about my pepper grinder. I got mine from Sir La Tab, but I understand that they are on Amazon now. So you might can get it on Amazon, but if you have any kind of issues with your hands, they're so much easier than using one of those other crank types. Troy is heating the Weber up out there, and uh, I'll get out there and get him on the grill and let y'all see what I'm doing, and I don't know what I'm going to fix to go with him. Probably that box of rice and and he can have a little bit, and I can have a big bit. Um, I'll be back in just a little bit and show y'all what's going on next. Okay, I'm going to use this Spanish rice, rice -aroni. I don't know if y'all can see it right side or not, and I've got a little bit, about a couple of tablespoons of oil in my skin pan and I'm just going to put my rice in there and let it kind of brown. Let's see here. I'll use this thing a little watcher. Get a little bit of oil on all of it. There's not a lot of box mixes that I use but I do like rice aroma. You can make good casseroles with the beef and chicken rice aroma. I may show y'all that one day if I hadn't already, and I might show you again if I have already, because I can. I'm going to get this browned a little bit. I've got it on about a medium heat, and when it browns, according to the directions with the package, I add two cups of water and a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes or whatever kind of tomatoes you want to use and the seasoning packet and then you just cook it down. So when I was a teenager there was a lady in our church, Sister Joyce Graham, and she would make a dish and I don't know if she called it green rice or what she called it, but she used rice and I had never had rice and it had a lot of celery in it, and I've got a cookbook with her recipe in it, onions and celery, but it, and I think she used the chicken, rice but that was the best casserole. Well, then I started making it and just adding some shredded chicken that I would poach and season really well. Oh my goodness, it was good. But that was a Sister Graham specialty. We liked her green rice -aroni. She also made some cookies that you make in the skillet. It's dates with, um, it had coconut, you roll them in coconut, but it had Rice Krispies in it. And I've got that recipe too. I might make some of those for you one day. They were good. You didn't bake them, but you did have to cook a little bit of it. She was an awesome, awesome Sunday school teacher worker in the children's church and just a wonderful Christian lady. Our church was blessed with her being a member. Well, it's going to take this a little bit longer than I thought to brown, so I'm going to get it browned and then I'll bring y'all back and show you what I'm doing next. Okay, y'all, it's getting brown. I think you can see. See how some of it's beige and brown? So what I do, I put my water in first. And then I want to put my uh, seasoning packet so I can see that it's all stirred up before it gets hid among the tomatoes. Now if I was going to hide, I'd like to hide around among some tomatoes with a salt shaker. Fresh ones, please. See, it turns it that color that it needs to be. 
and I'm just going to add diced tomatoes and you get this you bring it up to a boil and then you turn it down to a simmer and just let it cook about 20 minutes you just want it to absorb all the liquid I'm going to run out there with the camera and get y'all a shot of the shish kebabs. Troy took them out and went ahead and put them on the grill because he had it ready. So let's run out there and just look at it so you can see what we're doing. Okay, Troy's got them all on the grill and we've got it on about four to 500 degrees. I'm going to cook them on one side for about five minutes and then I'm going to turn them and we'll check to make sure the shrimp's done. Okay, we did them on one side for five minutes and we flipped them and Troy uh, had Miss Siri to set a timer for three more minutes. So they're probably coming off here shortly, but we lost a lot of heat when we opened it up. You can see that it's not back up real hot, but so it may take a little bit longer. But we're going to see and then the rice aroni is cooking along and we're going to have a good meal. I really think they're done in three minutes, but because it wasn't as hot, I'm going to let them go a little bit longer because I don't want anything raw. Okay. Okay, Troy's going to get them off and got him a pan waiting right here. They look yummy. One little shrimp fell off and Troy tested it and it was doing so. We have the, um, what are those grates called? Grill grates is the brand. And it comes with that fork that comes from Troy's hand. That we can get all this stuff and goes down and cracks there and gets everything off. I love them. Okay, see how all of the moisture is out of the rice That's how it's supposed to be. I mean, y'all probably cooked it before. I don't like it plum dry. It's still moist, but there's no liquid running around in the pan. So this is ready for me to plate us up some food. I'll be back in just a minute to show you what we're going to do. I hope this will inspire some of y'all to crank that grill up and make something good. But it's a good uh, meal for a hot day, and it's hot here. We did get a little rain, thank God, and we hope to get some more. Maybe it'll save some things from completely dying. But anyway, our meal is getting cold, so today y'all going to get by without any of my little messages. We're just going to go sit down, thank the Lord for food to eat, and that we're able to digest it and be healthy. The good Lord bless and keep y'all, and I'll be back in a day or two with something else good.